Hey Radiant Souls, I wanna to talk today about one of the questions I get really frequently, which is related to my coaching service. So it's been coming up a lot lately, I think because I talked about it in an interview recently. But I just wanna, um, if you weren't sure if coaching was right for you or, or what I even offer in that kind of, under that coaching umbrella, I just wanted to chat about it for a little bit to, to, so you can see if it's a good fit for you. So I think a lot of times the, uh, the understanding is that you would seek out a coach in a professional development kind of way. So that being only if you were looking to become a professional animal communicator, a professional energy healer, a professional intuitive, or bring those skills into and blend them into anything you're doing at a, like a professional level right now. And that's certainly one aspect of what I work with with people, but I would say that's probably 50% of my coaching work is in that regard. The other 50% is more in um, personal development. So during a coaching appointment, I am showing up in a lot of different ways for somebody. And this is kind of where I bring all of my uh, experience and my skills to the table because I am there in a channeler, a medium, a psychic and intuitive capacity so I'm connecting to my team of guides, your team of guides, everybody's on board to have a view into whatever it is you wanna work on in your life. And we'll get to that, uh, that maybe laundry list of things that we can look at in a second. I am also coming to that as someone who has studied personal development and coaching and worked for decades in that, in kind of wherever I was planted or, or whatever arena I was working in. Um, even when I was in the corporate world, I was a mentor and I coached and developed people. So I have a lot of experience in that. And so you kind of combine those elements into an intuitive coaching appointment. So we're getting guidance from the guides. We're getting um, guidance from your higher self. And then I'm showing up kind of, you know, if you picture a traditional coach with the whistle in my mouth, drop and give me 50, we have kind of full coverage um, of all the different aspects of ways that we can work together. I also have a lot of tools that I can bring as far as um, homework prompts, things for you to move past, things like limiting beliefs or um, shifting perspectives. I do a lot of work in kind of the grief space as well, whether it's animal or person, um, because I find in our kind of in our Western society, we don't really, we can have talk therapy and that's certainly very helpful, but it, it doesn't include the mediumship perspective. So when you're coming for an intuitive coaching appointment with me, we can connect in with the loved ones who have passed over as well in that capacity. In, you know, not just to chat and hang out, but in service to helping you and, and moving you farther along your path and helping you unlock and um, access different aspects of your potential. P potential? Your potential. Uh, we need to unlock, unlock some vocabulary for me today. So I just wanted to make it a little bit less vague about what it is that we work on. And um, I found this article and, and we're kind of reading it live. I didn't really uh, pre-screen it, but it's eight signs that you might need a coach. So I just want to see what these are and uh, bring them into our world and, and see if that helps define for you when you might want to have a coach. And, and I do offer one-time appointments with coaching, but what I have found over the past year to two to three years of doing this now is um, specifically in an intuitive space is that, wow, people get so much farther and get so much out of it when we meet regularly. So I don't do weekly because I, I feel that a weekly appointment doesn't give you enough time to integrate and take things on board but we, we meet every two, three or four weeks, whatever works for your schedule, we can shift that up to. Um, it doesn't have to be the same you know, frequency every time. But that allows us to like get the lay of the land. So here's where I am, here's what I'm struggling with. We talk about it, we get the intuitive guidance, we get the coaching guidance, we get the personal development aspect going, and then you go and, and for the next two to three weeks between appointments, 
you're taking that information on board and you're making those micro adjustments, sometimes big adjustments, but often micro adjustments to see then, now where am I? I've, I've taken these things in, I've adjusted these habits, um, these beliefs, where am I now in regards to my ultimate kind of goal or potential? Um, so let's look at the eight signs. Being held back by limiting, by self-limiting beliefs is number one. And that is regardless of the overall, I think, kind of topic that someone might be coming to chat with me about, we look at that every time because we're, we're human, we're here, we have this habit of getting in our own way sometimes, right? So when we look at those self-limiting beliefs, we're doing it in this sacred container of connecting in with um, eternal wisdom and multi-dimensional beings and your guides and your loved ones in spirit and your higher self. And, and there's this beautiful perspective on things. And there's also, I think some of my, my coaching clients would agree. We also kind of level set it and we call a spade a spade a lot of times in appointments. So um, I don't necessarily, I'm not someone to, uh, blow smoke up your ass as they might say we're gonna we're gonna say it the way it needs to be said and the the fun part about having a, a channeler as your intuitive coach is that some of what's coming through is wisdom from your higher self and your guides saying things in the way that you need to hear it because we have that kind of extra perspective lacking direction and purpose this is one too i think it might not be the first reason that someone comes for coaching because I, I do also um, prefer and ask that you kind of have a goal in mind. So if you don't already have like, hey, I, I know I want to do this. I Maybe it's that you want to eat healthy. We I have a lot of clients where we talk about that too, just basic daily habits that may be holding you back from being your best and highest self. Um, but lacking direction and purpose uh, for me and the work that I do, that can come into the larger conversation, but typically I would ask that you kind of know a direction that you're heading in. So we're gonna take that one off the list. I said we were doing this on the fly, right? Um, reason number three you may need a coach is feeling stagnant or stuck. Definitely this is something that comes up often and something we can talk and work through. We all, um, we all hit those brick walls. Even if you feel like you have smooth sailing and you're living the life of your dreams. If we're having the coaching appointment and you're calling me from a yacht in the Riviera, Riviera and things are just like amazing for you, we still have things that we all encounter and work through and just kind of feel like we can't navigate our way around. So we can work together on some of that. Lost enthusiasm and passion. Um, we can touch on a bit of that. I think sometimes in um, the coaching relationship as it evolves, this is one too, that things can fall in and out of that. You can absolutely feel resonant with something. You can feel enthusiastic about it. Sometimes our minds do this fun little thing where when we start doing the actual work, it doesn't feel as fun anymore. <laughs> I see that a lot. Um, so we work around that. We talk about it. We, uh, you have support through that. And um, we look at coming at things from a different angle or shifting things up to get you back to where you feel that resonance, which is another way that I would say kind of enthusiasm and passion. Feel out of your comfort zone. Um, and it says here, do you, do you find yourself worrying about every little detail and asking what if all the time? That's certainly something we talk about a lot in coaching, more so to allow you to get out of the habit or support you in getting out of the habit of that, of linear time, of things being compressed, of things needing that definition. I want you to think bigger than that. I want you to think, I don't need to know how something comes to me, I trust that it does. So we work on developing that for you where you Absolutely, I'm not saying kick back in the recliner and don't work toward your goals. Work toward your goals um, in, a, in a way that allows you to magnetize and pull in what it is that you want. Procrastinate and don't follow through. This is a good one. I see this quite often. And we all, I think it's very, very common that at some point in our lives, we all kind of hit the pause button or, or we kick something downfield a little bit and say, I'll deal with it later. 
And um, that's part of that uh, experience that I have of the personal development coach piece that we can work through some of that because um, we're gonna look at why you might be procrastinating. Often there are self-limiting beliefs underneath that um, that we kind of talk through and, and work on pull apart. I like to picture them like threads. We're, we're going to tug at them and see where we get. Feeling anxious and stressed and then butting heads. Those were the last two of, of the list of eight. So absolutely anxious and stressed, butting heads where things feel discordant in your life. And it might not be just butting heads with other people. Often it's this feeling of why can't I get out of my own way? What why am I blocking this? Like, what is there for me? So with all of those different connections, the intuitive connection, the energy healing also that comes um, to play in, in in a coaching appointment and um, the private personal development piece, we absolutely can decipher and take a look at anxiety, stress, um, the discordant energy and feeling disconnected and things and, and help you get your footsteps back on the path that is right for you. And that's really, if there were one thing underlying all of it, that is my goal in supporting you is kind of saying, hey, you feel off track, you're not really off track, let me show you what we're getting intuitively as kind of the roadmap for you. Or you are on track but you're bogged down let's take a look at that intuitively let's see if that is something you're causing by limiting beliefs or behaviors and habits that aren't supporting you so we have this kind of full spectrum way that we look at things in a coaching appointment and what i love more than anything is that we're also building trust and building a relationship between the two of us in an appointment certainly but the feedback I hear most often is that people feel like they come more into resonance and trust with themselves through these series of appointments. So if that's something that feels like you're ready to tackle that, you want to have kind of somebody riding in the sidecar of your personal motorcycle to help you navigate, help you unlock, help you accomplish and achieve things that you want. I'd be so honored to support you. So I'm gonna drop a link below for you to take a look at um, the different packages I offer. And uh, I would just love nothing more to than see you in your fullest and highest potential because I think when we all unlock that and kind of uh, decipher that combination for ourselves, that is how the larger world um, as they say, starts vibing higher, how things start to move in a direction that we want to see. So it starts with each of us. And um, if I can be in service to that for you in any way, I would be so very honored. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with me here today. I'll see you next time. Bye.